Ah, then why do non-left wing and patriotic people get persecuted by the state, either in America, or Australia, or Britain? Now, we have had 50 years of the old Marxist bullshit going through our universities, and it is a religious cult. Uh, they don't know it all, it's just, you know, like somebody who's been to, forced to go to church and believes that they're good people and anybody that opposes them is Satan, a Nazi. Now, I've been on demonstrations where the PCS union have organised the uh, marches, um, counter-protest for Socialist Workers Party. The PCS union are the court union. They represent court workers. Uh, they are members of the Unite Against Fascism, Stand Up to Racism, uh, all the extreme far left organisations have PCS membership. Similarly, they have a uh, National Union of Journalist membership. And the National Union of Journalists diversity policy uh, represents diverse Britain. Diversity is our strength, so they say. But not if you're white, heterosexual or male. They are not mentioned. So, if anybody was to uh, label you as far right or racist, the National Union of Journalists um, say that you don't have to report them or talk to them. What you have to do is go to the UAF, Hope Not Hate, or stand up to racism to find out who you are. So this hysterical cult with its cathedrals of un in university, its acolytes and bishops preaching there and the little priests in every school in the land spouting out English hatred, mainly. Uh, anybody within the state must align with this thinking. Or you can't get promoted, you, you get sacked. Oh, by the way, within all these organisations, <laughs> there's also some sort of Islamic representation. Islam and communism are anti-capital, totalitarian cults. So, we're, here we are, we have two cults facing us. One within our ranks and one invading our ranks. This goes all the way to the very top. This is why Tommy Robinson is facing jail tomorrow. Or whenever you watch this, be the 11th of July 2019. Marxist postmodernists don't like us. Back to Orwell, where they said that the middle classes. This is the only nation in the on the planet where the middle classes hate their own institutions, and their aim is to destroy them. And they are rotten to the core. It's a stinking carcass of a system that my father left me, that I was born into, that he fought for, my grandfather fought for. It's a sham where an opinion can be overruled facts and truth so the PCS union 
and the National Union of Gen Journalists lie and vilify anybody who does not agree with them. Can't get through law school or promotion within the legal system unless you agree with the postmodernist fucking multicultural diversity is our strength bullshit. I've sat in front of a judge banging the table, telling him that he's meant to obey section 29J of the hate speech laws that says you're allowed to criticise any religion. Nah. Found guilty. Now, Tommy will be killed in jail. The police, all the way through, university educated police forces, yeah, postmodernists, communists, Islamophile, capitalist hating, white hating scum. And they recruit, recruit, recruit similar thinking people. Anybody who has the slightest or shows slightest rapport, um, support for our cause. Sacked. And then a report comes out this week that uh, Muslims in this country are the poorest community because of racism, not because they're a bunch of fucking scrounging bastards. So, media, everything is racism. It's all group identity. Feminism is not about equal rights, it's about women's power. This bloody gay pride month. What? You didn't do anything anymore. So now we have Tommy probably getting assassinated tomorrow, going to jail, unless they've got a sense. President Trump might, running out of time, but he might be able to pull him out of the fire. So we have to see where we go from here, guys. Poof. We are in so much trouble. And these people. They honestly think they have got the moral high ground and they will kill you. They will kill you. They are morally superior to you. Just as the Quran says Muslims are to us. We are the vilest animals on the planet and they are the best of people. Our state of the cathedrals and priests baying for the blood of the unbeliever me perhaps you prepare people prepare time is running out